B-E-L-I-N-I-N I'm talking melanin I want that chocolate fix Like I'm snacking on some m and I like the way you curve Like your body's from the ancients Put my fingers through your hurt Shake your curves Cause you amazing You a black queen Cause I see you chase your dreams They try to hold you down But his hands about your means like Hey guys, it's Jess Welcome back to my channel So for today's video I know I just put these in Like a week ago But it's time for these to come out So today is our beloved wash day I'm gonna be washing my hair conditioning and I'm just gonna go back to the basics and do my regular curly hair routine I know you guys are all really worried about my hair like, oh my god Jess you blow dried your hair again oh my gosh Jess she's pulling on your edges oh my gosh Jess oh my gosh everybody relax I'm gonna show you my curls are still here a little bit of blow drying is not gonna hurt anybody Okay, it's not gonna hurt anybody. So anyways, I'm just gonna take these out. I had fun, it was cute, but as you can see, they're starting to frizz up a little bit anyways. Like my real hair is starting to poke out in places. Um, I'm just gonna take a scissor. Ugh, I don't have a mirror. I'm sure my hair doesn't stop all the way down here, but I'm just gonna cut right here to be safe. My hair probably stops like right here. I don't know, we're gonna cut right here just to be safe, cause girl. I really hope I did not cut any of my hair. Hey, if my hair get this long, no, scratch that. When my hair get this long, it's over for you guys. I know I say that all the time, but I'm serious. All right, so let's just take these out. It's all gone. My hair, it looks really flat on my head, looking real pst, pasted down. Here's what the back looks like. I'm just gonna rinse my hair out, put some warm water on it, get this stuff unlocked, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and just rinsed out my hair under some hot water, and I took a shower while I was in there, why not? So, let's see what we're working with. The warm water did get a little bit of the product out, but now I'm just gonna go in and give it a nice deep clean. So you already know when I need a deep clean, you know what that means, sis. So you already know I have my Groove Scalp Massager from Vanity Planet. You know, it does the massaging when you turn the button on. And I just realized, the last one that I had is the green one in my old videos, when you press the button, I don't know if you can hear that, it vibrates. And the old one, when you press the button again, it turns off, but when you press this button again, it vibrates faster. So this one actually has two levels of vibrations. I've never tried the second one, but we're gonna do that today because the amount of product that's in my hair right now is kinda out of control, okay? I'm just gonna use my Cocoa Cream Shampoo by Carol's Daughter. And I'm gonna use a few pumps of this bad boy because, girl. And you know, I was watching Janae's, uh, Janae Mason's video and she's like, yo, look, it's the truth. We don't subscribe anymore to the, just get the roots, don't touch the rest of your hair. But the rest of my hair have been through exactly what my roots been through. And I seen her the other day and I was like, look, we don't subscribe to that anymore. We, we wash the legs, if you know what I'm saying. You know, I'm not gonna go with the whole, just wash the top and let the water just rinse through the rest of your hair. Like, no, baby, wash your hair's legs, okay? Wash the legs. That's all I'm gonna say. And I'm gonna use my scalp massager to just comb through my hair and just really get into my scalp and take out all the dirt and all the product buildup that's been in there the past week. So if you'll excuse me, <laughs> I will be right back. So like I've already said a million times, that's just why I love my scalp massager. It just gives my scalp the deep clean that it needs. And it also massages my scalp, which you know allows the blood flow to really pump through, which promotes hair growth. It gets all the dead skin cells off of my scalp. So if you're interested in a scalp massager, I will leave the link on the screen. I believe the code is 60 Jess for I think 60% off, don't quote me. But you can definitely get some money off of your order by using the code 60 Jess. So, so I'm gonna rinse this out of my hair and then wash my hair one more time off camera and then we're gonna come back for deep conditioning and detangling and styling and all that good stuff for the rest of my curly hair routine. So I'll be right back. Okay, so now that 
my hair is fully cleansed, I am going to go ahead and deep condition. Only thing that I'm gonna do differently with this deep conditioning is I usually deep condition my hair in like four sections, but I am going to do it in some really small sections just because I just came from a protective style. And I know I haven't moisturized my hair in over a week. I haven't touched my scalp, I haven't touched my hair. So my hair is definitely in need of some very serious deep conditioning. As you can tell, there's no curl pattern, there's no nothing, it feels dry. So I want to use something I've never used before. This is also another niche deep conditioner. This is a moisturizing deep conditioner. It has raw honey and, girl, babasu, babasu. <laughs> Wap 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 bamboo. I don't know. Whatever oil babasu, babasu, babasu. I don't know. Whatever. It has this oil in it. My gosh, um, I'm gonna just go ahead and do this off camera and come back because obviously my hair needs some special attention that I'm not giving it. So I'm gonna just, you know, hone in on my hair and, and give it that quality time that it needs. And then we're gonna be back because I just, <laughs> we need some therapy right now because this is not it. It's not it. I just, oh my gosh. Mm -mm. Nope. BRB. All right, y'all. It was a journey, but. <laughs> We made it. Um, I didn't lose as much hair as I thought I did, even though I did throw some away in the beginning, but this is how much hair came out of my poor little head. So, um, I put the deep conditioner all through my head. I'm just going to add a little extra oomph because I really feel like I just need a miracle right now. So I'm going to add in some grapeseed oil, my good old trusty grapeseed oil. I'm gonna add that throughout my hair, maybe a little bit more. All right, so now I'm going to let it sit. I'm gonna put my hair in the shower cap, and then I'm gonna follow up with, you guys already know, and if you don't know by now, now you know I always use my head, what? I always use my hot head cap. So I'm gonna put this in the microwave and then just like throw it on my head and then like do my thugism. So I'm gonna be back, and then we really gonna get into it, okay? I'm gonna do this for about half an hour, maybe 45 minutes, maybe an hour, I'm not sure. But I will be back though. See you guys soon. So y'all, I am back and my hair is well, dried kind of for the most part. So we're just gonna see what we got going on here. I left it in the twist that I did and um, my hair is feeling so much better. It's not looking like it's feeling so much better, but trust me, it's feeling so much better. Oh my gosh, my hair feels so much better. What I'm gonna do now is just go through my hair with some leave-in conditioner. It's the Meech leave-in conditioner that I've been using lately. I'm going to put an ample amount on each side. Okay. So, you know, after further review, my hair does feel a lot better, but it still feels a little bit dry. Some of my hair ain't that dry, you know what I'm saying? It's doing its thing back here. But I think I'm going to change my method from LCO method to the LOC method. Now, most women do the LOC method, and I have never been a fan of the LOC method. I've always done the LCO, which is liquid cream oil, because I like to seal in my moisture with an oil. But I'm going to try to change things up and do liquid, wait, liquid oil cream. So, or the L could stand for leave-in as well. So I just put my leave-in in my hair. So now I'm going to try it something different, and I'm going to put my oil on top of my leave-in and then put my cream on top of my oil. This goes against everything that I've ever believed in, but I mean, you can't really say it doesn't work if you've never tried it. Don't know if it's gonna make a difference, but we gonna see. It's kind of a vibe, I'm not mad at it. 
I'm not mad at all. So, I mean, it's not gonna be perfect after the first try, but all I know is that I just did liquid and oil in this one little piece right here, and it was just like, hello, good morning, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna make that a little experiment, and we're gonna see over time if that method changes the moisture in my hair. Anyways, that's not why we're here. So now, like I said in the beginning, we're going back to the basics. I'm going to do a wash and go. Lately, I've been switching up my wash and go products to the Hydra wash, sorry, I'm trying to grab this, to the Hydra wash and go products, but today I'm going back to my, my curly curl cream and my wet line gel. Just, you know, because really the truth is I ran out of Hydra products and I can't afford to buy $25, like I just, I can't keep up with it. So, I'm going back to my $7 <laughs> curly curl cream and you know, like my $2 extreme wet line gel because your girl has plans and spending $25 on, on one hair product every month is just, not in the plan that the Lord had for me, you know? Plans to prosper, not to harm. So, I'm probably gonna speed through this part because you guys have seen me do this a million times, but can I just say, hold on, this water and oil thing is actually, I think it looks better in person. Anyway, so I'm gonna speed past this part, but I am going to do some of it on camera so you guys can see and to show you how I do my curly method. I am going to go way back to my basics and um, twist my hair after I do certain sections because it just gives my hair a better uniformity of my curl pattern. So I'm gonna throw that in there too. You're gonna see as I do it on camera while I play this music that I got off of SoundCloud. So we're gonna do that in three, two, one. Music. for a little bit. So I'm taking the twist down right now. So my curls are in like a bit more of a, a uniformed curl pattern, which the twist helped them with a lot. So I'm gonna lightly separate them back there. So now I'm just going to shake my head and give myself a major headache for a couple of seconds. Okay you guys, so I am back and I am absolutely loving, I'm absolutely loving the way my hair turned out. Like I feel like my hair hasn't looked this good in so long. I decided to do like a, the flip over even though I know I wanted the middle part, but I kind of was in the mood for like a little bang action. What was that? You, you, you said you wanted a close up. <laughs> I can do that for you. There's still a, a smidged up riz, but you know, we're still training my hair to get it together, but like don't act like you don't see what is going on here. I've been taking singing lessons, so you know. <laughs> this is probably the best wash and go I've had in a very long time, okay? Even since I cut my hair. Um, don't know what the back looks like. I'm gonna show you guys just in case it looks good. Does the back look okay? I don't know, I can't see. Oh no, my battery's gonna die. Okay, so anyways, I really just wanna say though, I really think that changing my method from liquid or leave-in cream oil to liquid or leave-in oil cream. From LCL to LOC, I think I'm gonna start changing my method to the LOC method, but I don't want my camera to die, so love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Black Bye. Queen. Bye. Failure ain't an option. You looking clean, clean, clean.